So we did Queen Elizabeth's family trees and Prince Philip's paternal family tree. Now we will do his final maternal family tree. In this video, I will go through his mother's side to see which of his first cousins are still alive there and who they were. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here on Mortal Faces, I recreate historic portraits to see how individuals we read about might have looked in real life, and I also untangle family trees. So let's get started. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more trees and recreations, and let me know in the comments who you'd like to see in upcoming videos. While Prince Philip's paternal family is really big, his maternal side is a lot smaller. He has one big and one small, just like Elizabeth. We're gonna start with Prince Philip's grandfather, Louis of Battenberg, who had a different background from the rest. You see, his father, Prince Alexander, was the third son of the Grand Duke of Hesse and was rumored not to be the son of the Grand Duke, but of another man. Meanwhile, he married the Russian Empress's ward, Julia Hauke, who came from a minor noble, almost middle-class background. So their marriage wasn't approved and was considered morganic, thus his children were the offspring of this morganic relationship, including Philip's grandfather. Prince Louis of Battenberg had an extensive naval career and married the granddaughter of Queen Victoria. Princess Victoria of Hessen by Rhine's mother was Princess Alice, and Princess Alice has some notable family members. You see, her younger daughter was the Russian Empress Alexandra Fyodorovna, and her younger brother Ernst Louis, Grand Duke of Hesse, was the father to Philip's sister, Cecile's husband, which is quite the roundabout. During World War I, German members of the British royal family, including himself, had to abandon their German names and take on British ones as there was anti-German sentiment going around. So he then became the Marquess of Milford Haven, Earl of Medina, and Viscount Alderney. He was offered a dukedom but couldn't afford the lifestyle, and so he describes it as arrived Prince Hyde, departed Lord Jekyll. The couple had four children who were also initially born princes and princesses of Battenberg, but upon conversion got demoted to the children of a marquess. The eldest child, Princess Alice of Battenberg, escaped that fate because she married before the conversion took place and became Prince Philip's mother, and she married Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark the second youngest son of the King of Greece. And I go through their children, Prince Philip and his siblings on his paternal family tree video, so you can check that out, but Prince Philip was the youngest one and the only son of her. Then you had Louise Mountbatten, Philip's aunt. She married the Crown Prince of Sweden in 1923 and became Queen of Sweden in 1950. She was his second wife, as his first died in 1920. They had one stillborn daughter together, but he already had five children from his previous marriage. Once again, let's look at these colors real quick. The purple, excluding his siblings, are Prince Philip's first cousins. Red are their children and are all second cousins, not to Philip, but to each other. Blue are their children, so third cousins to one another, and green are their offspring, or fourth cousins to one another. As far as I can find, only one line from the green has a child in the black, who would be his second sister, Theodora's eldest daughter's great-grandchild. Following Philip's Aunt Louise, we have his uncle George Mountbatten, who became the second Marquess after Louis died in 1921. He had a strong naval career like his father, and Queen Elizabeth, who was his niece-in-law, considered him one of the most intelligent and brilliant people. He had one girl, one boy, Lady Tatiana. She never married, but her brother David became the third Marquess after his father, and he also went into a naval career. It seems like a family tradition, as we also see Prince Philip joining the Navy too. He had two sons, George, who became the fourth Marquess, and Lord Eva. Finally, you have Philip's youngest uncle, Louis, the first Earl Mountbatten of Burma, and he has quite the story. As with the rest of the family, he began an extensive naval career and later became the last Viceroy of India. Then he was made Viscount and then Earl Mountbatten of Burma. He married European heiress Edwina Ashley, whose grandfather was one of the richest and most powerful men in Europe. In 1921, at the time when the Earl was earning about £600 a year, or 28000 today, she inherited £2 million, or £94 million today. After his career in India, he went back to the seas and following that was one of the few people who had the privilege of being Charles III's mentor. They consider themselves honorary grandfather and grandson. He even tried to set up Charles with his granddaughter Lady Amanda, but that fell through. Unfortunately, also at this time, tensions in Ireland were very high. They wanted the British to leave. 
so to make a statement they tried to assassinate him while he was on holiday over there the first attempt failed in 1978 but in 1979 they put a bomb on his wooden fishing boat while he went lobster fishing his eldest daughter lady patricia her husband their twin sons nicholas and timothy and their mother-in-law were also on board the bomb detonated her father the earl her 14 year old son nicholas her mother-in-law and the boat boy also died in the attack she her husband and her other son timothy survived lady patricia inherited her father's titles and became the next countess the then princess elizabeth and princess margaret were her bridesmaids and she had eight children herself and passed away in 2017 aged 93 her eldest son became the third earl mountbatten of burma we can see her in this documentary about philip's mother along with her sister lady pamela hicks is the only maternal first cousin of prince philip still alive she has three children herself and recently we saw her at her daughter india's wedding who has a very hgtv lifestyle she married her long-term partner mark flintwood after 26 years and five kids lady pamela was a bridesmaid to the queen and india was a bridesmaid to princess diana it was quite the life lady patricia and lady pamela had because their father was so close to the royal family and was the last viceroy of india they got to travel the world go on the famous Commonwealth tour and meet everyone from Grace Kelly to Gandhi. And that's Prince Philip's maternal family tree and his first cousins. And this concludes the first cousins of the Queen and Prince Philip. It goes over more of their extended family that we sometimes see in documentaries or in the news. And this is how they're all connected. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't, you can check out his paternal family tree as well as Queen Elizabeth's sides all on my channel. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more trees and I will see you in the next one.